back in there. Yeah. Tell them to watch it. Now nah, I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit going. Then she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. Yo. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kings Run, man. And I'm back with another bill video. Uh, everybody loves my bills. Everybody always asks me, what's the best bill for this? What's the best bill for that? Well, my bills are the best and y'all know this by now. Uh, so first things first, y'all already know. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and turn those noties on. We are going to give y'all some great bills in the next few days. Um, I'm not gonna hold y'all too long, so I'm gonna get straight into it. Everybody has been asking me, what's my center build for pro -Am? Now, the thing is this, you can really play on this build in all game modes, even stage, yes, on the tools court, you definitely could. Um, you can make it a lot faster, obviously, um, but park, pro -Am, wreck, you would dominate in the wreck and pro -Am. Let's be honest. Um, if you can't tell by the highlight clips, then you know what I mean? Let's be honest. <laughs> Um, but obviously, it's been a debate between what's better, seven foot or seven one. So here's the here's my opinion on it. If you seven foot, you fast. If you seven one, you slow. And me personally, I have a seven one, and I feel like it's horrible. You 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 move like a turtle, and I don't like that. So obviously, I went seven foot. Now the tricky part is this: weight. Um, my weight was two fifty four. And the reason being for that was because I wanted to have uh, pretty much as high as possible for the body type. Because, um, like, if you go up, you know, it changes a lot of attributes. You could go up a little bit more. It depends on how fast you want it to be. Um, but I wanted to have a 65 speed. So that's why I did that. Um, now, and first thing you want to do, obviously, you want to do your, I would recommend doing your physicals um the whole reason of me making this build is to be fast so i'm going to max out my speed and you don't need to touch acceleration it's not going to be that much difference um you could mix it up to 55 but you're going to need those points obviously you want a 95 strength or a 90 strength sorry um you could easily do 95 uh, if you wanted to you put the weight up uh -huh, more but you don't need that and as you can see you get bulldozer that's about it like you don't need bulldozer on gold uh specifically for this build because again this build is a shooting build um the vert now the thing about this if you went 7-1 you can only get a 79 vert so um the 80 vert with the thresholds if you go and watch nba 2k Labs videos or tubes they will tell you that the thresholds for most animations are either plus five or plus 10, meaning if you are gonna do a 79 vert, you might as well do a 75, unless you're trying to get animations, cause 80 is gonna be the next threshold for you. Now, the part that people get confused on is stam. So that's been a whole thing until 2K made you have to have stam this year, every build has it. So you're gonna go 89, as you can see, the reason going 89 is for bronze workhorse you could easily go 92 um to tweak this build a little bit so i want y'all to kind of pay attention to the tips i'm giving you so you can make this build because silver workhorse is really good um especially with the tip rebounds um running to the board when the, when it's loose balls like it's, it's very important now i've never made a build before with 99 offensive rebound until this year so this would be my first and the reason you go 99 offensive rebound is because it takes less attribute points and you still get an 84. Now, I'm not going to give y'all too much into this build yet because there's many ways you can make it because I have another video coming without the 99 rebound. But just know you could get away with a lot more if you don't do 99 rebound. But Hall of Fame rebound chaser, you get crazy animations. Now, the tricky part is the block. You want to do 77 block. Um, again, I'm going to show y'all why. Uh, you, you, you get chased down. You could easily go one up 78. But that's not what this build is for. This is this is for to be able to do everything. Um, you could take down a little bit of speed if you wanted to sacrifice it and put up the block. But that's not worth it at this time. Now, you only need a 60 steel to get interceptor so we're gonna leave that at 60 you could easily put that up more you could easily put it down more 
um, your perimeter you're gonna do 37 and interior you're gonna be a 65 and that reason 65 instead of 61 is so you can have workhorse now you don't need workhorse but I've noticed a tremendous difference in workhorse obviously you want to do 92 pass act that like Hall of Fame break starter is OP you could do 86 you could do 91 but if you do 91 why not just go 92 it's not that you don't lose much if you look at the badge um, how much I have remaining now the tricky part is this the reason I went uh, my speed with ball is a 40 and the reason that is because you about to see that badge pop up big driver when you drive into the basket you do get some good animations and you could go 48 speed with ball and then do the uh, 62 ball handler and get it silver but you would need to you can't have hall of fame rebound chase and that's why i'm gonna make another build video for y'all with the other build um so if you if you waiting on that build i would say man get these likes up and comments up and subscribers man because i'm gonna drop it for y'all soon all right so free throw you could do an 80 free throw but i've made all my bills with 71 um that's what i'm gonna die on with it um for the time being now if i'm a guard obviously i'm gonna put it up more three pointer so let me show y'all something. You can max the three-pointer. Um, you don't have to max it, but obviously, I mean, you could get away with bronze catch and shoot, but silver is just as good. Now, the reason you need to do um, a 79 mid-range is because you keep points. If you look, it's gonna give you enough attributes to do something. You could easily put this up eight to 80 for releases, but you don't need an 80 mid-range. Um, now standing dunk, obviously, you could get away with a 90, again, because you see you get fast twitch on silver but 92 i've noticed slightly different difference when i'm going up for standing dunks and if you want me to be honest with you the reason you want to go 92 is because as soon as you catch the board bro you can go right back up so, uh, sometimes you don't even have to hold or stick dunk um now the tricky part is this when you do add dunk most centers are putting 65. I go 73 for this badge right here, posterizer, because the green window to me increases. It's a lot easier to dunk when you have posterizer. Um, so that is why I would do that. And obviously you have either option, like if you make this exact build, you have the option to put your free throw up or speed with ball. Obviously I did free throw, but you can easily do speed with ball or stand. Um, and if you look at the build, look at the comparisons, I really think it's great comparisons. If y'all know who some of these players are, y'all know that they're good. I mean, let's be honest, Sabonis is really good. check is a great shooter. Um, and it's gonna be a diamond mid range, mid -range threat. Now. I don't know if y'all gonna make this build. I don't know if y'all gonna like this build, but I do want to hear both sides. I know a lot of people love the lock build. If you hadn't been able to check it out, please go check that build out and the jump shot. Man, that video is blowing up. But I'm not gonna hold y'all, man. I hope make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn the notice on again. Enjoyed the video, man. Please, please, please subscribe. Peace out.